What's up, boys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reviewing the game between the number 24-ranked Michigan Wolverines and your North Carolina Tar Heels. As you can see on the screen, the final score was 72-51 to in favor of the Tar Heels in this matchup. A 21-point victory was really good all around from the Tar Heels, making us 5-2 and on the season and making Michigan 4-3. and on this season. Rough start for the Wolverines. In the first half, UNC was leading by 2, 29 to 27. And then the second half, just absolute dominance from Carolina, 43 24, to lead to this final score on the screen. I was really impressed with the Tar Heels last night. Uh, in the first half, there were some, a bit, just some slight offensive troubles, I'd say. Just uh, couldn't really knock down uh, as many shots as we needed to. And, but the defense was there for the most part, and just that everything was just magnified in the second half. Just offense, defense, it was all there for the Tar Heels in the second half. It was a really clean, good half of basketball. So if we scroll down here, this is a signature win for the Tar Heels, which I don't know how good Michigan is or how good they'll end up being, but I mean, I assume this would be a fairly good win here. Let's see here. 92% attendance in the Dean Smith Center. That's good. Um, game flow chart, as you can see, for the most part in the first half, it was a very contested game. Second half, just absolutely blown up by the Tar Heels. Win probability started in Carolina's favor and uh, went to Michigan for a little bit there in the first half. And then Carolina brought it back in the second half, of course. Um, so let's go over here to team stats, if I can do that. All right, 35.1% shooting for Michigan. Now, yes, Michigan did miss some open shots, but most of that today is from the defense that Carolina played. The defense was so greatly improved. I don't know. It's kind of amazing that the leaps that it did take just from one game to another. I know it's been over a week since they, since they played their last game, but I mean, we saw massive, massive improvements. And if those improvements can, like, if the defense can stay like it was today, Carolina's going to be a team that no one is going to want to play down the stretch. 46.3% shooting for Carolina. 31.3% shooting uh, for um, Michigan's three-point percentage. And 42.1% for Carolina three-point percentage. Free throw percentage, 6 for 6 for Michigan. And 66.7% shooting uh, from the free throw line for Carolina. We did out rebound Michigan 38 to 35 in the glass and 10 to 8 on the offensive glass. Not as wide of margins as you'd used to see from a blowout Carolina win, but this is a kind of a new brand of it's still Carolina basketball, but it's um, there are some tweaks in there, obviously. Uh, as far as turnovers, only six turnovers for the Tar Heels. That's I just gotta give that a round of applause real quick. That's just incredible. I mean, and before 13, so I mean. Just absolutely great improvements from the Tar Heels. Just great improvements. Fouls, low foul game. Really wasn't many fouls um, in this game, especially in the first half. Ten for Michigan, eight for Carolina. Largest lead for Michigan was five. Largest lead for Carolina was 25. Really dominant performance here. Over in the box score, we got to talk about the player of the game, which, of course, is going to be Caleb Love. What a game from Caleb Love. He just took fire. Like he just caught absolute fire in the second half. Didn't shoot very efficiently in the first half, but the second half it was just it was just his game um, to dominate that that one. It reminded me of some of the Duke games that he played in last year, like both Duke games. He was just absolutely fantastic. This was kind of one of those type games. He finished with 22, four boards, four assists, three steals on the night, and only two turnovers. So great job, Caleb, there, and and had um, some pretty good efficiencies as well. Dawson Garcia had 14 points, four boards on uh, good efficiencies as well. Armando Baycott, 11 points, 14 boards for another double-double for Armando Baycott, three assists, a steal, and two blocks as well. R.J. Davis didn't shoot very efficiently, um, but he was really gritty on the defensive end, nine points, two boards, an assist, and a steal. And Leaky Black had a big game as well, although looking at the stat line, it doesn't really like show that. But the defense, outside of that one play where he just left that one guy in the corner wide open, which was kind of funny. But anyways, he had five points, five boards, three assists, a steal, and a block in this game. And on to the bench. Not much uh, bench play tonight. Brady Manick, obviously, as a six-man, got a lot of minutes. 
Uh, he finished with nine board, excuse me, nine points, five boards, and one assist on uh, okay efficiency. Kerwin Walton didn't play that much tonight, and he didn't have a great game for himself. He did have uh, two rebounds and an assist. Justin McCoy came in for about seven minutes and got a rebound. And then DeMarco Dunn, Don Trestiles, and Anthony Harris came in um, to finish out the game up when we were up by 20 at the end. And Anthony Harris did get two points there. A couple of notable players for Michigan. Uh, Musa Diabite, he had a great, great first half. Then he was just absolutely like silenced in the second half. I don't know what that was, but... He could not miss in the first half. The second half didn't get much going for him at all. So that was a great adjustment for the Tar Heels there. But he had a, he had a pretty good game. Um, and that's, that's kind of honestly it. I mean, Eli Brooks was okay. But, like, overall, Michigan did have a really rough night. And part of that is just they were just having an off night. And a, a good bit of that, honestly, was that the fact that the Tar Heels really stepped up on the defensive end. So I was really proud of what the team was able to do tonight. Well, what, yesterday? Um, so, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below about this game. I had a lot of fun watching it. Please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that YouTube stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.